Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less soldier options, less equipment options, less hit points and stronger and more enemies. Time to go into Operation Ice Wagon. Finally some action. I wanted to have a Haven Assault. It's led by the Hunters. So we're going to send our prime team, Primus here, uh, Wurtz, Quick Feet, uh, all of them, as well as uh, Jessica Rabbit Jones, are from the prime team. Uh, we put Zukuger in, and I was kind of debating what the last additional soldier should be. Uh, a second spark would have been a problem because we're only having a rocket launcher, and the other spark couldn't use that due to our run restriction of no duplicate items. So it uh, dawned on me that potentially having someone with an equally heavy gun, in this case uh, the fully upgraded plasma rifles, as well as a bit more kind of utility behind, might be the right uh, call. So Zirkim is going to join us, and as you can see, since we already upgraded kind of uh, the, um, the plasma weapons, for the normal rifles, I've also taken on one of uh, those bad boys. I'm getting more and more, um, I'm falling more and more in love with the idea of uh, once our prime team kind of has good equipment, um, I will lock all of the equipment on the prime team, so no more additional equipment, and we're just going to use additional like smaller more niche items on the rookies that should increase the difficulty so substantially that we might see a couple more casualties i wanted to have that gritty kind of bloody run and since ages we only got injuries um, not that i want to lose soldiers but uh, that was the idea of the run and i i want to like tone down our strength a bit good here we go So the team landed, and I think it's one of uh, yeah, it's one of the missions where we do have the resistance operatives on our side, which is good. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Primos might just move up and take a look. Nothing. All right. Quick feet eventually moves over. And we're going to use him as a scout. All right, so... There are already a couple of enemies. Yeah, let's position ourselves over here. Jessica Rabbit. Deploying grapple. Puts herself up. There's potentially a second pack over here, so I got to be careful. Zukugur can move in without pulling something. But what we could do is we could actually scan. And there's the second pack. Archon plus two mutants, okay. Pretty nasty pack. Location confirmed. We are hidden, so this should not give us away. Like I said, that's why I did not want to go like literally here. Okay, I'm not sure which of uh, the sides will move in first. Kind of hoping the left side uh, would be the one that goes in first. 
And there is the hunter. Right on he will. Schedule. He might be the most difficult one uh, during this uh, fight. Uh, the priests themselves are bad. Bloodlust is indeed quite harsh. So no automatic bleed out. He directly kills us. No damage from explosions, and the soul sealer portion is really, really bad. I appreciate that. As you cannot fight him and others together without him healing. We just picked up a unique signature. One of the chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. All right. So wait a second, that guy immediately entered Overwatch? Here we go. Show me the kill zone. Yep, that's three hits, although it didn't show. Fantastic. Okay, at least the kill zone worked out as I intended it originally. Come on. Is that a ruler prime? No. Um, no. And by the way, it wouldn't be a ruler prime, it would be an archon, a prime archon. I think that's not one of them. Sort of curiosity. So Berserker, Archon Sentinel. Okay, well, whatever you say. Okay, cool. Well, first things first, let's deal with that Sentinel. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we can see all of them except the Sentinel. Uh, we, do, we have a repeater in here. That's a mistake. Didn't want to use repeaters uh, in this run, so that rifle is banned from the next uh, mission onwards. Let's hope the repeater is not going to screw us up. Position compromised. I give you strength. All right, time to kill the berserk. Eleven points of damage. Holy shit, that's a lot. Zirkim on the other side. Goes for that mutant. And nicely executes him. Okay, fantastic. Good. Okay, well, I think overdrive would be one of the solutions here. Can't hit both of them. Nope, can't hit that either. We could hit over here and essentially shred quite nicely. I think that's not a bad idea. That way we at least remove armor from the sentinel. We 
Mutant Pyro. Okay, cool. Seven to nine, we're looking at two, four, six, seven. That would need to be a maximum hit. Yeah, let's go for the mutants first. shot misses oh, that is unfortunate you could dual strike the guy you could also try to simply kill him Let's go for that first. Keeping the dual strike for uh, keeping the dual strike for the actual fight against the chosen. So we have death from above. This is a hundred percent kill. But unplaceable if needed. Alternatively, we can just remove cover here. I think that's the right way to go. Good. Now we are only left with a sentinel. No clue what he's going to do. Typically blazing pinions. He kills one. That's okay. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. I can see further than you think. All right. We've cleaned up that first pack quite nicely. I'm a bit concerned that we've used too many consumables. There's not that much uh, cover removal left. It's not the end of the world, but it's also not optimal. Good. So what we can do for an efficient turn is you can take a shot here. Unfortunately, a dodge. Moving up, yes, we're soon going to go even closer for now. Let's just kill that guy. Target eliminated. The resistance team is in the clear. Good, we got three the other a large group of and two resistance and fighters that are going Sensors to go the extra mile and will run over. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. There is one more cover removal with Bombard, so that might be an option. I hope you know where I'm going. Jessica Rabbit okay. moves up. We got the free auto reload, so there is no need yet to reload and We'll potentially keep the high ground here, to be entirely honest. Good. There is even some more high ground over here. Maybe we're taking that one, to be uh, to be entirely honest. That's potentially better. And on the 
those guys are molesting the pure poor mutant. And I would guess, without knowing, one or two more turns, and then the enemy will start to just massacre us. Moving up. Zirkim goes for a conceal. And eventually moves up as well. Wards charges in and I mean Jessica Rabbit could go here and then Use a grappling hook next turn to get upstairs. Come get some. Digging in. Is what should we try this time? There we go. It's getting a little ugly around here. Enemies finally arrived. Ouch. What? A berserker with a berserker with armor? What the hell is that? Another berserker with armor. No cover, that is a problem. Good copy, moving on target. Berserker Prime. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, the primes could take an action whenever you took an action. Not a hundred percent sure about that. But like 99% positive, so I might not want to do that. 97% short misses. Okay, F it. Well, 4 damage will likely not mean the world. I don't want to trigger both of them at the same time, that would be suicidal. Continuing to stay on this bridge here. Locking it down. All right, concealing. Affirmative. Moving up. Look, Zirkim needs to move up as well. in just a tiny bit more. Guard duty it is. And why not? Let's hit this guy with our common protocol. Maybe that'll trigger an action and he will move in. Alright. That did exactly what I was hoping that it would which is he essentially ran in and we can now take our turns without uh, provoking actions from him it's open season on the rest even more berserkers 
and three courtesies. Well, ooh, there are a couple of uh, more difficult packs. I will give uh, ABA that. Nice. Killzone just keeps on giving every single time. Tracking shot. And there we go. Went off the armor. You managed to beat one of the other two in a fight. Don't let that taint your opinion of all of us. You've got the chosen in rage. Let's take it out. I love it how all of them are going to reload. There's another Berserker Prime. I don't want to deal with that guy. Don't shoot the Codex. Well, that's not bad. You can force try to shoot him. Assuming there's anything left of this world when we're done, maybe I'll just let you wipe yourselves out. It's the one thing your kind excel at. What exactly is happening over here? Fire starter. Oh. <laughs> it feels that we are insert. Pretty much. Time for some crowd control. Frostbite on the fire starter. And he is frozen. Fantastic. Lots of courtesies. But before we deal with either of these, we gotta deal. With the chosen. Ah, the open spaces. The Moving up. Air. And this hopefully is shredding him. And if it's exploding the car. He might take some extra damage from that. He's immune to explosives, if I'm not mistaken. That might turn out really bad, depending on how how large the explosion of the car is, because there are so many targets around it. My computer is still calculating the impact. All right, come on. harsh gotta deal with the chosen sooner or later let's position ourselves over here so that we're out of line of sight of the others We got to we got to shred him completely I'm ready. Uh, 
There is no point of letting him just stand there. He's now taking acid damage. Marking him. He had a dodge. That is, again, unfortunate. Continuing to hit him. So many hit points to chuck through. Again, advanced teamwork. Marking him. And this should finally be the kill. Of course not if you're missing a 96% chance. Almost downed him. Went over. Okay, at least he's gone. You surprised me once again, Commander. Maybe I need to reconsider my tactics. Excellent work, Commander. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least, we've held off the Chosen for another day. If these guys move first... We're going to be in a good position. Because the Codices will definitely hit us and will remove will, will remove our ammunition. Alright, come on. That was a that was a kill. Fifteen hit points. All right, there's the psionic bomb. Okay. Okay, Jessica is in trouble. Hmm. We're going to have more clones. Yep. I was honestly hoping that they would shoot the civilians more than they did. It might sound like a harsh judgment. But really, I was uh, the only reason why I left Jessica up there was because because of that. All right, we gotta heal her. And we gotta move out of the way. On the move. You'll be fine. Close, very close. If she would have stayed up there. 
It would have li likely meant that she would have uh, bled out. We got another autoloader, so we should be fine. My biggest problem is with the codices over here. Gotta deal with them sooner or later. The mutants, on the other hand, are also a problem. So, could we hit both of them? Yes. I think that's the right play. Ready to go. Crowd controlling Take these this. two. We only got one more mutant on the right hand side. Moving over here. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. Overdriving. I'm not sure if we have another reload. Might be out of reloads. Let's double check. Well, we're okay. Good. Do I get a badge or something? Time to really deal as much damage as possible here. It's likely that the Berserk will wake up and molest us, so we gotta be careful. Don't want to stand in that area, so we we have to move. Problem with both of uh, the codices uh, is if we're taking a couple of shots now, they will just duplicate. Firestarter has too many hit points. This is an option for a kill. But not likely. There is the clone. Moving all the way up to here. Orders confirmed on the move. Fire starter is very likely going to uh, hit us. Target eliminated. All right, reloading. And let's charge in. Zirkim has enough hit points to survive a single shot. Good riddance. If he would be the target, of course. Zukugurm could move up to here. Yeah, that's that potentially well. the right play. We're going to see another psionic bomb. bomb no just a couple of hits okay fair enough good this is going to be a tight call I love it the mission plays out fantastic
I think we have three more agents that are with us. Okay, cool. Hundred percent. Now let's go for the hundred percent. Fantastic hit. Love it. Love it. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, we got to be careful. The uh, prime over there is going to become a problem. On the other hand, cleaning up that entire side here is potentially worth the problem. <clears throat> okay. What are we going to do? Oh, that's a great question. Let's hit that prime and kill him. One more shot from up here should do the trick. into full cover if we were to strike that's a hundred percent okay in which case we're going to reload and we're going to strike There we go. How many of you have Eat you? my fist. Okay, Berserk Prime would be a kill. Unfortunately, we can't get up, up here. Elsewise, elsewise we could On the move. use death from above to our advantage. forgot to kill the prime it's not the end of the world but it's not great either we will just need our backup plan instead of hitting the mutant we will hit the prime good two more mutants and so far we're doing well Okay, well, come on, we still got a couple more soldiers on our side, like four more. Ready to go. Gotta be mindful here, because some of the enemies are faceless ones. That is why we're not just charging in. On the other hand, this here is finally the death from above situation that I was looking for. Understood. Moving out. Moving up. And that should be a kill. Good. But that was a bloody mission. An absolute slaughterhouse of a mission.
<laughs> I mean, just look at that. Oh my gosh, what what a mission. And to be honest, I was scared uh, of the Jessica Jones placement. I was... Uh, that, that was the first time that a better advent uh, got the better of me because normally if all of them are engaged in uh, there are civilians then they will just start shooting the civilians and frankly speaking uh, if our overwatch wouldn't have missed we could have cleaned up the entire side the right hand side so it it was a high-risk maneuver, but in my mind, it made sense. However, apparently, the AI is now smart enough to no longer um, waste their uh, shots on the civilians, but effectively break your Overwatch. So, kill zone was broken after the second shot, which was a bit of a bummer. And I think Jessica will will potentially have 20 plus days in the mat bay. 17. Wurtz gets an upgrade. Salvo is fantastic, so we're taking Hail of Bullets. Not the worst, because now she has yet another way of hitting for 100%. And Wurtz is also a major, so we have that double major. Double whammy team. Good. Alarium core, that was important, and data cache, that's great as well. Hello, Commander. Plus 21 supplies. Well, overall, it, it worked out at the end. And we got some extra AP. So, Dead Eye could be an actual option. What else? Jessica did not get a promotion. I think Wurtz got one. Yeah, but no extra, uh, no extra um, ability there. Might as well take that eye, so that we increase the damage even further. That's a good one. And here we go again. It's the first time that we're not immediately invading an alien facility. We can we can do that soon-ish. We do have direct access to two alien facilities from up here in Russia. And overall speaking, the Our conquest of the world um, is working better than expected, so we should be fine. Storm gun that allows us for some nice upgrades and you can see immediately we get the autopsy so with the mutant autopsy we can get a couple of things advanced grenade launcher yes please plasma grenade yes please so that's good with the berserker we get even cooler stuff the overdrive serum which is something that we would want in this run hell yeah we definitely want that so plasma lance requires archon autopsy and a couple more Larian crystals, which we don't have. Now, on the flip side, we really need a Larium. We got Intel. We do not have a Larium. Let's assign Alien Encryption for now. And we can build some more nice tools. I like it. Let's finish the contact real quick. Bullpups are doing more damage, which is exactly what we want. Recruit a scientist wouldn't be bad. But I think we're instead going for this extra dodge. Quick feet is not ready yet. Seven days. So we need to find something in between. How long? How long until the month ends? 13 days. Okay, so we just got to find something that is shorter than 13 days. I think we had one with a promotion.
promotion and resistance context isn't bad, but I think it was improved. Yeah, this one here. Combat intelligence improvement, a quick one for promotion. We could use that on boards whilst the quick feed is recovering. And there's a chance that she will, no, there is actually no chance that she, uh, that she will be injured. Wonderful. So that will allow her to become a uh, colonel. So we're kind of speeding up the promotions a bit. At the same time, I want that extra dodge. Because you've just witnessed how great dodge is if they're actually trying to hit you. Good. As for the rest, we wanted to get some Elerium so that we can research better armor. Commander, we have a line on the chosen warlock here. Located. Good. Let's Avenger, try to get cord. some Elerium because that's what's missing currently. Larium crystals, yes, please. And that will allow us to do a couple of things. But most prominently to go for powered armor, which is exactly the next uh, research item that we're going to undertake. In the meantime, I'm pretty sure we will need to pay 300 for that. Yep. That's the 300 that I was uh, putting aside. So from here, we can finally go and get the Berserker Queen. Uh, she's over here. They knew what they were getting themselves into when they joined up with your resistance. The Elders don't have and yeah that's not a problem we're going to raid that facility soon anyways good we got shadow chamber it's a nice building and improved swords are we going for improved swords uh, yeah why not extra damage extra damage on swords isn't bad yet another nine days to do that I think it's potentially the campaign with the most kind of research breakthroughs and jumping through hoops that I had in a while. Chosen are more likely to peer. I don't mind that. Protect the device. Oh my gosh. Oh. I do not want to deal with vigilance, but I also do not want to deal with the protect the device mission. That's a bummer. Major sharpshooter. Hmm. Let's think about it. Um, Vigilance has not yet been there for two months. So it's the first time that it came up. Which means we will have a second chance to uh, to counter Vigilance, but we will need to take it the next time. Can it be worse than Protect the Device? Likely not. It could be just as bad. But boy oh boy do I not want to play that. No, or I'll, I'll think about it. I'll potentially not play it, but instead uh, counter the hidden uh, Dark Event. That sounds like more fun. On the tactical side, we have a couple of upgrades here, none of which we can uh, currently take. So we will need to table that. And we do have definitely a couple of weapon upgrades that would be worthwhile. None of which we can take either. We, uh, we need this here in order to research armor. So that's unfortunate because we would have quite a few options. Overdrive uh, Serum, on the other hand, once we have a bit more 
money could be something that will uh, thought that eventually will be fun it's a fantastic option and i haven't used it I've been digging for some i haven't used it in any of the runs I've yet been i've used it off screen and it is okay English, and but it like it's essentially also investing 60 uh, 60 supplies into just a one-time effect so we're going to be careful i first of all want the upgrades and all and the really good economy once you do have enough supplies you can definitely play around with those uh, types of uh, equipment items but it is the choose to lose run so maybe i'll build it a little bit earlier anyways if you enjoyed the run please leave a comment down uh, below i always like to hear from you and leave a like so that the youtube algorithm understands that this is a good campaign and see you in the next run bye bye